P-S-A-M-M-O P-H-I-L E, Samophile? That is correct. Of course. That's how you spell Samophile, right? With a P? Everyone knows that. At least they do now. That was the moment that local 14-year-old Dev Shaw took home the trophy at the 2023 Scripps National Spelling Bee. He is home back in Tampa Bay. You should see, you're quite the celebrity here. The entire newsroom running from all different if angles. If only they could see us during a commercial with break. You. Dev, you're uh, a superstar this morning. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, Dev. Um, you know what? I, I know, first of all, congrats again. I know a lot of prep goes into this. How long did you have to study, my man? Um, a good three years. But three these, years? Three years? Mm -hmm. There's these no last, cramming for this. These last six months have been very intense. Nonstop? Mm hmm day and night studying. Well, it all paid off, and I, I saw that you knew this word ahead of time, too. Mm -hmm. So when they said Samophile, you were like, I got this, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Pretty amazing. What's it been like since you've been back home? Has this been the, are you walking into the grocery store and people are, you know, <laughs> running your way? Um, no, not really. It's just, it's been a whirlwind ever since, like, interviews every day, every yeah. morning. <laughs> He's the wanted man. We're so glad you could pencil us in this morning. And I'm telling you at home, everybody was like, I mean, I didn't really, can I get a picture with yeah. him? Can I get a picture with him? How did it feel to win? Um, it feels good because it's something I've been working for for a long time. So knowing I've accomplished that means a lot. So what comes next? You uh, are $50,000 richer at this point, and you got to figure out what you want to do with that. But what, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I don't know yet. Still mm. figuring out? You've got time. Yeah. You've got time. Yeah. Well, you certainly can spell. What else are your favorite subjects? Um, I like history um, mm -hmm. and reading. History and reading, that goes hand in hand for sure. <laughs> yeah. And so tell me, I know that that's a long list. You spent three years working on it. I mean, you know, did those words still come up in your mind today, even after the spelling bee? Mm -hmm. And you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm not competing today. Are you dreaming yeah. about the bee? Um, I had a nightmare that I got out in the third round, like I did in 2020. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, um, yeah, I still do get a little nightmares, but now I wake up rest assured. Knowing that yeah. it, that was a nightmare and you are living the dream, my man. Where do you want to go to college? Do you know yet? No. No? I bet mm -hmm. you're going to start getting recruited, though. Absolutely. You get a few letters in the mail, right? Mm -hmm. A little scholarship wanted. You don't know where you want to go yet? No, not really. All right. Well, Deb, I want to get you out of here on this right here. Any advice to any other spellers out there? Because yeah. we struggle a little bit, you know. Um, well, you shouldn't really, like you. you shouldn't worry about if you can spell good because there's spell check now. Yes, thank yeah. God for that. Well, <laughs> yes. well familiar with spell check. Mm -hmm. Not as familiar with the word samophile. Thanks so much for coming in. We appreciate it. You are a superstar for yeah. sure. You got a fan club here. We got to get your autograph now. This guy's going places. Yes, he is. All right, let's get over to meteorologist Tyler Moore. Are you a good speller, Tyler? No, there's a reason why I do math and science. That